we're about to launch the Breeze Jack brand internationally. It's just gone on shelves in Sainsbury's. I can tell you that they're big butterflies banging against the inside of my tummy. I really actually need a little nip of Bronave just to calm them down. So we've got a whole lot of my mates here to make me feel less nervous and all the British press and the, the main who's who of, uh, of the trade are here and uh, I think mostly to taste the other guys' wines and maybe to have some really good food and as a sideshow they'll taste some of this Bruce Jack thing that, uh, that's being launched today. My name is Bruce Jack. I've been a winemaker since it sounds like a and I've been a winemaker since um, uh, 1993, or whatever that makes that makes it a long time. Uh, often um, making a couple of different vintages. So I think I think I worked out recently a couple of years ago. It's about 29 vintages, maybe a bit more. I can't remember, but the point is, kind of that's why I look like I do. This is a tough market. These guys have seen everything, and like as another upstart colonial trying to to prove that there's something different and exciting where, in fact, these guys have generally seen it all. The reason this brand, I believe, is going to be different in that we have looked at collaboration in a different way from anything else I've ever seen in the wine industry. It has been done in other industries, but it's about sharing the IP of this brand with both your suppliers and your distributors. This is the cutting edge. It is the market. It's the crucible of all wine markets. And if you can come up with something that gives you uh, that where you can deliver difference, but at the same time authenticity and integrity, you've got a small chance of making it work. And the only way we're going to get this work is through collaboration. So collaboration with, with Peter and the other primary suppliers, but also getting these guys on board. And they're here for two reasons. So one reason is that they um, are going to, with confidence, tell their readers that they've come across something that's really great value for money, the journalists. And the guys in the trade, the people who are buying, they need to believe that what you're going to do delivers on the promise of what, of what we said today, which is that we're going to deliver value for money, complexity, balance and consistency that just hasn't been done before. I think the quality that Bruce has delivered is astounding for the price point. It completely over delivers and you wouldn't expect anything less of Bruce. Well, Bruce is a bit of a prostitute, really. Flagstone was the most wonderful thing and he sold that to the supermarkets. And he came back with the drift and after Accolade, we all thought, you know, Bruce is back in the um, singular, independent winemaking thing, and then he goes off and prostitutes Bruce Jack wines to some co-op. But anyway, we still love him, and um, the wines were annoyingly good. Amazing wines, um, articulated wines, but more than what is is in your glass. It's about a story, it's about authenticity, it's about depth, it's about realness. I think that is what makes him so unique in terms of a selling proposition. He makes a nice, a nice story about his name and the way he make the leathers, putting a picture of him. So no, it's, it's, it's cool. The fact that he put his name on the, on the label, his face on the back label, um, it's probably a combination of him going mad um, hitting um, a midlife crisis um, and uh, making maybe a joke about himself. I don't think he's been photoshopped. I think he was going to photoshop, him, photoshop himself and make himself look thinner than that. I was surprised and I thought, you know, Bruce, everyone knows him. Maybe they don't remember his name. It's brand recognition, so it's a clever move. I hope it will sell more bottles of white for him. It's bold, it's risky. But I think the safe route, the easy route, was never the bruised route. He pushes the boundaries and life for him almost begins at the edge end of his comfort zone. It's just the person he is. And it's in line with what he pretends to do, to be a bit different uh, in the way you approach uh, the consumers with wine, but not uh, giving anything on quality or nothing. So quality, the wine inside will be top notch, but he tries to approach people in a more friendly way. So he's democratizing the wine, huh? It's for everybody, not just for the elite. And I am totally in with that, definitely. For me, Bruce can only be successful because he, he understands ambition, but he also understands respect and values, which is the right combination. And I think that Bruce can only succeed.